What's up everyone, it's Talon LaFontaine. We're out here in Buffalo, South Carolina at Randy Hawkins' place, uh, testing out the new YZ450FX. The first impression of this bike, um, shoot, when I first got on it, I was, they said they mellowed it out a bit, but to be honest, it felt every bit as fast as the, uh, the regular model YZ450F. Um, I had to mellow it out a little bit, uh, just the, with the map on the bar helped a lot. It was just a little too aggressive in the trees and uh, especially in the tight stuff. It just, it didn't flow around as well as I would have liked. So switching that map, making it a little mellower, um, made the power a little more broad, helped the bike handle better and just get through better. Um, that'd be my suggestion if you're, you're dealing with something like that uh, for yourself. Um, suspension was a little bit stiffer on the stiff side for what I would have light out here um, just over some of the chop and roots and stuff like that uh, it didn't seem to go down as much as some of the other models uh, I rode yesterday some of the main changes to this bike are uh, it's got an 18 uh, inch rear wheel um, it's got a bigger tank so it's actually you don't notice it when you're sitting on it because it's not any wider it's deeper into the frame so that's pretty cool um, and then also, it has it also has the mapping that you can do on your phone. Um, it has the a uh, little bit softer uh, clutch. Um, this again gets rid of some of that hit. Uh, another thing that's uh, different between the 450F and 450FX uh, are the engine mounts. Um, same frame, so the mounts just help take away some of that rigidity, makes the bike a little softer, flex a little bit, um, and that's a big thing when you're riding out here. I think it's a really good bike. I think it's a big bike. It's fast. It's really powerful. Um, and the tight stuff, it might be a little too powerful. So I know a lot of the other testers, uh, they, no one wanted more power. Everyone went the other way. So um, I think for the wood stuff, that's definitely uh, the direction to go. It's just a little mellower. Um, but on the West Coast, the the off-road ride is a lot faster, a lot more open, so you can really open the bike up. And there are a few straightaways out here um, that you open it up on, and uh, it worked really good there. I mean, the power is great when it's there and uh, when you can use it. Um, so my final thoughts on that on my, on this bike are: uh, it's great power, but a little mellower would help. Um, a little softer in the suspension just to help get over some rocks and bumps and stuff like that. Um, other than that, it, it felt really comfortable um, and uh, I really enjoyed riding it.